Welcome to William and Mary. Things are different this fall and we'll make the most of it. As we face the uncertainties of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are committed to advance William and Mary's mission that require each of us, without exception, to comply with all COVID-related health and safety rules. Earl Gregg Swim Library is the research, teaching, and learning hub of the university. Our staff are committed to making sure that we provide our users with exceptional collections and services. This fall, upon entering the library, you will be required to show your William and Mary ID, as well as wear a mask as you adhere to the social distancing guidelines. Although the library is open to all William and Mary faculty, students, and staff, we are unable to offer in-person tours of the building. We have therefore prepared this short presentation to familiarize you with our spaces. As you enter the first set of doors of the library, to your left is Aromas Cafe, which offers drinks, sandwiches, pastries, and fresh desserts. Aromas is planning to be open this fall. However, food and drink are not allowed in the library. Remember, things are different this fall. Directly across from Aromas is our book return. Feel free to return books and videos here. The next set of doors opens to the first floor lobby. Take note of our capacity counting. Remember, things are different this semester, so this helps us keep track of the number of visitors in the building. Capacity limits are now different than that under normal conditions. To the left of the entrance is the exhibit area, video wall, and the beginning of the reference collection. In this area, you'll find exhibits that highlight some of our collections as well as scholarship of faculty. It's also a good place to stop to catch up on the daily news. Wait a minute, I almost forgot. Our short story dispenser and popular book collection are also in this area. Need a break? Print out a fictional story from our short story dispenser. You won't get this opportunity anywhere else in Virginia. And while you're at it, visit our popular book collection, which is refreshed on a regular basis. There are two stairwells near the front entrance that can be used to travel to the lower and upper levels of the building. This fall, the stairwells are marked for one-way traffic. On the opposite side of the exhibit area is the circulation desk. This, of course, is where you may check out and return materials. There's also a self-checkout station if you prefer to do it yourself. On the far wall is our DVD collection. When time permits, check it out. You'll find that we have many interesting titles. Straightforward upon entering is the Information Commons, where you are welcome to use the computer workstations. The Doolin Learning Center is behind the back wall of the Information Commons. If you walk down the middle of the Information Commons and turn to your left, you'll find our reference, Virginia History, and genealogy collections, as well as the research room. Forgot your laptop? No worries. You can check one out at our new laptop kiosk, also found in this area. Next to the Doolin Learning Center is the Makerspace that offers 3D printing and a range of other tools and state-of-the-art equipment. The makerspace will be open this fall, but only one student can be in the room at a time. A makerspace assistant will be outside the room to provide help. 
Outside of Makerspace, you will find a microform reader and printer, scanners, and photocopy machines. As you move forward, to your right is the Office of Academic Advising. Across from the Office of Academic Advising is the Writing Center and the Tutor Zone. This fall, the Writing Center is available by appointment to work with students on writing and communication assignments. The Tutor Zone will be providing tutoring sessions online via Zoom. Please consult their web pages for more information. Moving forward leads us to the Read and Relax area, a dedicated student study space. Tables in this area are first come, first served, and unreservable. As we continue through, we enter the rotunda at the entrance of our Special Collections Research Center, a major Virginia historical repository and the holder of our university records that documents the history of William and Mary back to the 1600s. The stairwell outside of the Special Collections Research Center will lead you to the ground, second, and third floors. Our book collections are shelved on the second and third floors. We use the Library of Congress classification scheme. Books with call numbers A through H are on the second floor. J through Z are on the third floor. You'll find computer workstations, printers, and study rooms on both floors. The Graduate Student Commons is on the second floor as well as the Center for Geospatial Analysis. Taking the stairway down will lead you to the ground floor rotunda. All from it is the media studios on the left, copy center on the right, as well as the microforms collection, microform readers and printers. Continue through the hallway and you'll end up in the Body Talk Gallery. The Body Talk Gallery offers additional study and gathering space. It's also an excellent place to host art exhibits. Branching off from the Body Talk Gallery are the Reader Media Center, Kyle Classroom, Ford Classroom, and the Body Talk Theater. The Reader Media Center provides the equipment, space, technology, and services to support creative uses of multimedia technology. In the Media Center, you'll find the screening room, Mac workstations, collaboration booths, and the Cox Classroom. On the opposite wing of the Body Talk Gallery is the Ford Classroom. The Ford, Cox, and Kyle Classrooms are our premier teaching and learning spaces. They were designed as incubator classrooms with flexibility and experimentation in mind. The furniture and displays can be moved to best fit the use of the space. The Body Talk Theater is available primarily to support library instruction library meetings and events, and course-related screenings. This is the only area on this floor that has not been renovated. This concludes the virtual tour of Earl Gregg Swim Library. Please visit our website at libraries.wm.edu to learn more about our collections, services, and events. If you have questions and need immediate response, contact us using the chat feature on our homepage. You may also contact us by email at swerf at wm.edu. Go try. Hope to see you soon.